Lake Sloan coming up in mere seconds. In the meantime, let me give you some contact information so that when you hear the show, you're like, you know, I want to get in touch with him. He can. Just call him at his office at Sloan Realty Group. The phone number here locally is 843-808-SOLD, 843-808-SOLD. You can go online to his website as well, which is blakesloan.com, blakesloan.com. We'll repeat that info a lot over the next 30 minutes, so don't worry if you didn't get it this time. Make sure you get it next time. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start the show. Here's Blake Sloan. Good morning, everyone. Got an awesome, awesome show. Tons of great information, brand new stuff for everyone. Um, and this is our 35th straight week of Corona COVID edition of this crazy 2020. And uh, this craziness continues. One of the things we'll talk about um, is the brand new market numbers from last month. Remember last week, we had the fresh off the, the, the thing, but the, the technology was not working, right? So I got that 40 and there's some shocking shocking numbers, one of which is single family sales up over 40% last month versus the same month last year, which is just huge, almost unfathomable. So we'll talk about that um, in, in the, the this week's show. Interest rates kind of been all over the place a um, little bit. So they're doing great well as well. Um, another new article just details how um, hardcore New Yorkers, they call it, um, been fleeing the city for the South. We've been talking about this for a few weeks, but it really kind of highlights uh, what they're doing, where they're going. We'll talk about that. But uh, the South, a lot of real estate markets have been absolutely uh, blowing up. Our phones have been super busy since, you know, more lockdown measures have been announced uh, with people just trying to get out of there. Um, and it's been interesting. They're super motivated in that regard. Um, we have actual data on how many people actually moved during the pandemic. We had that last week's uh, list, did not get have, have time to get to it, but a ton, a ton of great information. Some amazing, amazing success stories. Our team of 22 properties under contract last week, absolutely crushing it. And uh, that's in a time, you know, in November when things are not that usually fast paced and, and historic, right? right? Historically. So um, the bottom line is things are still moving like crazy. A lot of chaos going on. I'm going to help you all get some information and some data to help make the best decision um, as we go into this winter time. All right. We're just getting started. Got a lot to get to, as you just heard. We're going to try to jam it into 30 minutes. But if you're just tuning in for the very first time, who is Blake Sloan? Well, he's been called the real estate whiz kid. He's been featured in Forbes magazine, Wall Street Journal, Realtor magazine, and other national publications. Uh, seen him on TV. Yeah, that too. He's been on NBC, also with Fox and Friends, the morning show. Uh, the endorsements you've heard on this very radio station from Barbara Corcoran, Sean Hannity, uh, Glenn Beck, Gary LaVox, and others. Put them all together. It's unprecedented. Now, every week we find out a little bit more about the trademark systems that Blake has for both home sellers and home buyers. I can't tell you all the details because, well, they're trademarks, but you know, get in touch with him and you'll be able to tell him a little bit more. But Blake, more than happy to tell you the most important part of those systems. Yes, and I made that part of my mission for the show and for what we do uh, to talk about this, at least one little part each and every week because there's so many horror stories that we hear. We shared a few, uh, a few weeks ago, um, and the reality is that consumers make huge mistakes consistently when it comes to real estate. I'm not sure why, you know, it's a big ticket item. Um, it's a, you know, one of people's most largest assets for most people. And so uh, they make a huge mistake of thinking that all real estate agents are the same, right? They treat them like a commodity could not be further than the truth. We're not just buying corn, you know, or, or something like that. The reality is you're, you're dealing with someone who's going to handle your largest asset. And so it's just like um, any doctor, any lawyer, if you're charged with a crime, you did not commit. You don't want just any part-time lawyer who maybe tried a couple cases in the past year. You want the absolute best, who's committed to what they do full time. And obviously they're very good at what they do. The same thing with a doctor, if you're, you know, obviously diagnosed with something, you want a specialist who understands that type of medicine, who's, who obviously works full time. And so why would you accept anything less than that when you're talking about dealing with, for most people, their largest asset? And so uh, the reality is the single most important variable that determines your failure or success as a home seller comes down to one thing, one thing only. That thing is the agent you choose, period. Why is that? Well, and selling a house, there's 118 different variables from A to Z. If each one's handled correctly, guess what that does? That puts money in your pocket, the property actually gets sold. Anything's handled incorrectly, AKA they drop the ball. And that could be anything from how the property's marketed, right? The quality of the photos, does it look good online? The order of the photos, are the right photos in the right order? Uh, does the agent actually answer the phone when someone inquires about your property? How long does it take them to respond to a web lead online? There's all these variables, right? That's just on the front end, not to mention in negotiation and data and making the right decisions. And so um, the reality is what most agents do are they're just doing the three Ps. One, they're basically promising the world to get listing. Two, they put it to the MLS. And three, they pray that someone else brings a buyer. Meanwhile, they're down the street trying to get the next listing. Why is that? Because they got to survive in the business. And that's just how it's been for years and years and years. I grew up kind of in the business. I've been in it since 2005. And so uh, what we did is set out to do things much differently. And so we, first of all, identified every single variable point. Most agents 
have no clue. They're just kind of winging it to see what happens next. And so we identified 118 different variables. And what we did there is create a system that's proven and repeatable. It creates a maximum leverage every single point for our client. So at the end, it gives them a huge competitive advantage. And so we control the variable through technology and people who are on our team to make sure we can get a particular result on the back end. And so we did that piece by piece. We call it like stacking the dominoes and you add that up over time. And the one best example I found is if everyone's running a marathon, right? There's a shotgun start. Everyone takes off at the same time. But what you find is everyone tends to spread out. Some finish two and three hours ahead of other people. It's the same exact thing we do with the marathon of your home sale. Okay. In essence, we sprint to that marathon uh, with technology and people. And so the system we designed is called the guaranteed sold system exclusive to us. Like Dave said, because I designed it, uh, we do license to other agents, other parts of the country. Um, but what it does is basically it's only proven system, get home sold twice as fast and for up to 20% more money than traditional methods. And it works very, very, very well. Not just someone winging it by the seat of their pants. And the cool part is uh, the system to process the advertising to get you success has already been put in place before you ever pick up that phone. And so that makes a big difference. So do not ever, ever gamble with your largest assets, right? Especially your house or investment property. On the flip side of that, guess what? It's the same thing on the buyer side. There's a hundred plus variables that obviously if each one's handled correctly, put money in your pocket and you get the best deal. If anything's handled incorrectly, uh, they drop the ball that costs you uh, your hard earned money. We just did the recent numbers in our MLS. The average agent in our MLS does 3.01 homes per year. Take the amount of homes sold divided by the amount of agents previous 12 months, 3.01. That's absolutely terrible from an average standpoint, right? You wouldn't want to get LASIK eye surgery from a doctor who's only done three, but people will still list their house with anyone. So you want to make sure you really get into the details. On the buyer side, the system we created is called the unfair advantage home buying system. It's your priority access to foreclosures, distress sales, desperate sellers, the absolute best negotiation and purchase price, as well as through home inspection, all the way down to the closing table. And so the bottom line, why we bring that up is because so many people experience horror stories because in essence, the average agent sells three homes a year. They're not that experienced in it. They're not that, uh, you know, I guess engulfed in what's happening in real time, especially in a marketplace like right now when things are moving faster than ever. A 40 plus percent increase in sales last month, right? Your agent better know that because if not, they're going to leave a lot of money on the table. And so do yourself and your friends and family a favors. Make sure you reach out to us first. We can explain that to you and show you the massive difference between agents and how it always gets down to your bottom line. All right. Sounds good. We've got a lot of show yet to get to, including some of the biggest numbers that you need to know about. we got an update on what's happening here locally in the real estate market. And after that, what are the rates looking like right now? Are you going to be making more money? losing money what, what are you going to be doing you need to attack when you can and do it when it's right and that's what blake will help you through tell you what that's all coming up in just a second get in touch with blake sloan right now call him at his office 843-808-SOLD 843-808-SOLD hey if you are in the market to make the most money for your home sean hannity here with some important advice now look i'm an active investor i have bought and sold a lot of properties in hot cold moderate markets and one of the lessons i have learned is this Hire the agent that knows how to create the most demand for your home. Now, if I needed to create demand in this market, no question, there's only one real estate agent I trust if I needed to sell my home. I'm talking about Blake Sloan of Sloan Realty Group. Now, he services the entire Myrtle Beach area, attracts hundreds of buyers every week, and sells a home on average every 24 hours. Now, that helps you generate multiple offers and sell your home for the most money possible. Well, just like getting an immediate offer on your home because if your home doesn't sell for the price and the deadline you agree to, you will have it bought for cash and he offers flexible fees. Find out how much demand your home can command right now. Call the agent that creates the most demand. Call Blake Sloan today at 808-SOLD. That's 808-SOLD. Or online at BlakeSloan.com. That's BlakeSloan.com. As a real estate investor, I look for sharp agents who really know their market. Agents who do so much business that they can find me the right investment property and sell it for the most money without drama. I need real estate advice. That's how it's going. It's an innovative market. I knew it sounded different a little bit. It's more demand for your home, selling it faster for more money. He guarantees to sell it on your timeline or it will buy it. Call the agent I trust, Blake Sloan, and avoid the drama. It's the Expert Advantage Real Estate Show with Blake Sloan. Coming up in just a second, we'll see what the rates are looking like this week, and that's always a huge number that you need to know about. But uh, numbers that Blake likes to keep up with, and that's what the market is doing right now. Like nobody else, Blake knows the market, what's happening.
Yes, I'm a nerd for numbers, man. That's my, my big thing. I study it. I live these things. I like watch it every day, but uh, crazy, crazy numbers right now. That's why I'll start with that first. And so uh, if you look at the month versus month sales, so uh, looking back, obviously we're in November, uh, the numbers that we compare use the previous month because we have all the data in. And so if you look at October versus October, um, this is crazy. A 42% increase in the amount of properties sold month versus month. Huge jump. So for example, October last year, 471 single family home sales. This year, 669. Massive jump. And so again, if that goes back to previous shows a while back, if you go back to our website or YouTube, you'll see we talk about where pending sales were up and buyer traffic was up. Well, guess what? A lot of those deals finally closed. And so huge jump. I, mean, I can't remember the last time I've seen a 40% plus jump uh, since we're doing this show for, for 10 years almost. I mean, I, I really not sure. Uh, but the reality is that has to do with, obviously, like I mentioned in previous shows, that perfect storm interest rates at all time low, people moving from up north, people able to work remotely now, people are obviously uh, retiring early. We had all kinds of scenarios um, where people were moving here in these hot spots for, for purchasing. And um, obviously Myrtle Beach fared very well in that. And so very, very good news for anybody um, that's a home seller out there or anybody that's a homeowner because obviously that's a lot of jump um, in regards to uh, your property value. And so looking at the average sale price, it was only up 8.1% um, last month or the same month last year, 313,738. We will see that kind of move up a little bit more in my opinion uh, the next couple of months because uh, we're also seeing inventory uh, dry up. The other thing, median price for sales, single family home sales up 13.9% last month. Huge, huge jump there. Um, that's great news. 262,000 overall, which is great in that aspect. And so that's just something that's huge as well. Um, if you look at the 12 month average too, it's constantly up 9.6% uh, for the 12 month average. Probably the most shocking number two on top of that um, has to do with inventory. We talked a little bit about briefly last week's show, uh, 2.4 months of inventory. There's 52% less homes available than there was the same month last year. Now, here's the crazy part you gotta look at, right? We always talk about price. Price is what we call a lagging indicator. And so uh, if I see that sales are up 42% last month alone, inventory is down 52% last month alone, there's only one place that price can go, right? And that's gonna be up because there's a bidding wars happening. People are freaking out, buying stuff within hours. I mentioned last week's show, we, we're selling stuff within hours right now, a lot of time to buyers that we already have who are in waiting. And so they're on the sidelines. They're in our, our what we call our, our technology. As soon as we get it, boom, we match it up to them with our, with our technology we developed. And it's huge. And so if I looked at the most shocking numbers for anyone out there uh, and you want to talk to anybody, your friends, relatives, and they ask about real estate, here's the crazy part. We're at an inventory crisis right now. Inventory is down 52% from the same month last year at 2.4 months. Um, again, this lowest I've ever seen it in my career of 15 years um, in the business uh, since we don't track it. I think we were a little bit close to that 2005 marketplace, maybe 2006. Uh, we just did not have the real time technology back then uh, to track it. Now, on top of that, you got to think of how many homes and condos have been built since then a lot, right? And so uh, the one thing we'll keep watching too is just shows per listing. So check this out. Last month, showings per listing, which is basically AK what's going to happen in the future because that's how many buyers are looking right now. If the buyers are looking, they put an offer in today, you're talking 45, 60 days to close, in some cases 30 to 60 days, right? So uh, the traffic for buyers last month was up 58%. So still massive amounts of buyers looking right now. I mean, it's crazy to see all three of the key numbers, all, you know, over 40%. And so my prediction there, you're going to see the rise in prices. You know, I, I do think there's some uncertainty coming um, in 2021, as just as a business owner, a lot of things that concern me. And so we may see people uh, pump their brakes. We've already had some of our clients uh, who were buyers in other areas pump their brakes a little bit. Uh, but from right now, real time data showing that the, the buyer traffic is up 58%. So take advantage of that, right? Strike while the iron's hot. You don't want to wait until ride that down a little bit if there is some type of decline um, in that aspect. And so there's a lot of talk about, you know, tax changes and capital gains, um, you know, uh, the way that they're handled, obviously, in tax deferment. And so you may see some people pull off the pedal a little bit, may want to make sure you take advantage just as a home seller, while prices are pretty much at an all time high, inventories at an all time low. It's a perfect scenario for anyone thinking about selling. So anyone you come across, friend, relative, aunt, uncle, uh, definitely make sure that they're aware of this because um, it's great, great news. Uh, for any home sellers out there as well.
Um, construction for new construction home sales um, up 8% last month, which is great. Uh, again, the one thing I'm seeing a lot is um, is resale homes, people moving, relocating. Those have been huge right now. Um, into condos really quick. Um, condo closed sales last month, huge jump in condos. So if you have a condo out there, they were a little bit lacking behind home sales. Uh, condo sales last month up 36%, which is huge, right? Not really, they're right almost at 40% as well, keeping up with homes. Uh, we've seen a lot of people uh, in this shoulder season, we just talked about this in our team meeting, uh, we're seeing a lot more people come down right now looking for condos. We're seeing money uh, from up north who are people who have kids that are a little bit older. And I think it's just a seasonality of our marketplace, um, but that's just a trend that we're seeing. Um, and we're selling a lot more condos right now too. So if you have a condo, uh, now is probably the time to strike in that shoulder season. The great news there, um, prices, median price for condos up 9.3% last month at 158,000, which is great news. Um, average sale price for condos up 13% last month at 197.568 and the supply there same exact crisis same problem down 25.5 percent from the same month last year uh at 3.8 months and so great great news here if you look at shows per listing which is buyer traffic buyer traffic on condos is up 23.8 percent and so bottom line is it's still super hot real time um, I do foresee a little bit, maybe um, some changes first year, see what happens. Uh, this is great, great news for us here locally because so many people are moving here, um, especially like I mentioned earlier uh, with the talk of new lockdown measures up north. We, our phones have been blowing up from people who are, 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 quote, you know, very pissed about what's going on up there and they don't want to be locked back down again. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. One of the things that drove this extra little spike in home sales too was interest rates. Remember last week's show, um, it was down at 2.89%. Uh, we jumped up a little bit. It's been kind of back and forth. Uh, right now, we're still below 3%, which is awesome. We're still close to the all-time lows. Right now, 30-year fixed rate, 2.98% for a 30-year fixed mortgage, which is awesome. A 15-year fixed rate right now, 2.45%. An FHA loan. This is still something that's been amazing uh, to watch and see for a lot of first-time home buyers. Right now, first-time home buyer can get in with 3% down. An FHA government back loan with 2.42% interest rate. It's absolutely nuts, right? We have a lot of people who are paying $1,200 a month in rent. They're able to buy a house for significantly less, save a couple hundred dollars a month in, in their monthly, basically, rent payment, but now they're owning it. And so if you want to know more about that, we have some specialists on our team that can help with that or anybody in your family. Uh, let them take advantage of these all-time low uh, interest rates, which is awesome. A jumbo loan right now, 3.35%. And a five-year adjust rate mortgage, people call it an ARM, is at 2.75%. So bottom line there, money's cheap, right? And that's one thing that's still driving that. Uh, people making relocations, people coming in town. Um, and so if you're a home seller, right now you want to strike while that iron's hot because, again, all-time low inventory since we've been on track it. Uh, 2.4 months down 50%. On top of that, sales up over 40% at 42% increase in sales. Um, you're going to see price continue to shoot up uh, for the short term. And so definitely want to cap out on that. Um, and I'll talk to my team about this too. Sometimes people are concerned about the holidays, but here's the thing. And I shared this with my team this week. I've been doing this a long time, a big student of psychology. Um, and the, one of the most uh, emotional times of the year in a positive realm is the holidays, right? And if you look at when people purchase homes, uh, it's an emotional purchase. And one of the best ways that homes show is during the holidays, right? It's decorated, has a home feel. And one of the things that I've noticed in showing thousands of homes is people tend to look and feel of what's this going to be like during the holidays with family and where can I put, you know, decorations, all these things matter. And so don't have a story, right, in your head that you can't sell during this time period because there is a lot of opportunity. It's an emotional buy and people connect on a very high level with that. So if you want to know more about that and the opportunities for sure, reach out, give me a call right now, 843-808-SOLD. All right, that's the number to call. Obviously, if you want to get in touch with Blake Sloan, coming up in just minutes, still plenty of show to get to. We have you hot buyers alert coming your way. Also, we'll be checking in with some of the success stories. And hopefully you're not going to be part of the horror stories, but we sometimes have those as well. We'll, we'll get into whatever we can. Uh, remember, if you want to get in touch with Blake, you can. The phone number is easy to remember. 843-808-SOLD, 843-808-SOLD, or go online to BlakeSloan.com, BlakeSloan.com. Hey, Myrtle Beach, it's Gary LaVox, lead singer of Rascal Flatts. When I'm moving on, won the award for ACM song. Of the How are we looking? About the seven and a half minutes. Oh, perfect. I'll just do hot buyers and a success stories and kind of see what happens. If you're moving on, you want a real estate agent who will make selling your home easy 
and stress-free, an agent who's willing to let you out of the contract if you're not happy with their service. That's why in Myrtle Beach, I can tell you that Blake Sloan of Sloan Realty Group markets your home on a whole different level. Now listen, Blake is so confident in his ability to sell your home quickly and for more money that he guarantees to sell it or he'll buy it himself. If you're moving on, trust Blake to provide your family a stress-free home sale experience. Find Blake Sloan online at blakesloan.com or you can call him at 843-808-TOLD. Start packing. As you just heard, the phone number is Sloan Realty Group, 843-808-SOLD. Get in touch with Blake Sloan at Sloan Realty Group. Coming up in just a minute, we've got uh, some success stories to get to. First of all, it's time for your hot buyers alert. Blake and his team working with just a ridiculous amount of home buyers, and they're looking for homes in the Myrtle Beach area from $150,000 to $3.5 million. That's a big range, but if you're in that range and even thinking of selling, call Blake immediately. Let him know. He'll help you out. 843-808-SOLD. How many people are out there looking for uh, homes in the Myrtle Beach area? Um, over, well, let's just give you the number, 59,287, 59,287, that's how many people have signed up and have active accounts on Blake Sloan's um, uh, website, and these are people who are actively looking on a regular basis several times a day, and they want to be the first person to find that home. Yes, like Dave mentioned, real people, these are separate people now, these aren't like hits or traffic, these are separate people with a username, password, account, and how is it possible to have 59,000 plus active buyers, because we spend a ton of of money driving traffic, tens of thousands of dollars a month uh, driving traffic to online sites that we have, um, and we get them from all over. And so the difference between me and anyone else, if you're listening or you're wondering, you know, why should I call you guys to list my house or anything? I'm spending massive amounts of money to generate buyers for your house before you ever even call me. And so that's how we have 59,000 active buyers. And we also have technology we developed over the past years that take any new listing, specifically your house, and we reverse engineer the most likely buyer for your house based on their previous search patterns. And so a lot of times we can use that technology to get it sold within hours. And so like they mentioned, we have people from all over right now, Renee uh, DeSantis from uh, Poughkeepsie, New York, uh, be on the site here. Um, a lot of times it's got six new favorites or 400 uh, properties. She looked at, I got Judy Morrell from Indicott, New York. Uh, on the site, brand new, three visits, got 139 properties, five favorites right now. Um, we got Scott Hook from Wilmington, North Carolina. From all over the place, we get people. Um, I got Mark Thompson, Montrose, PA, got Carlos from Columbia, South Carolina. And so these are real people. And like we mentioned earlier, we're at inventory crisis. And so anyone you know, friend, relative, aunt, uncle, cousin, if you like them, if you don't like them, right? Have them call us. Do not let them make a huge mistake of just going with somebody who's going to put a sign in the yard and be on down the street trying to sell another house. With our team system, our technology, it's unmatched. That's why we're ranked top 1% in the nation because of this system and how we break this down. And anytime we sit down with anybody, it absolutely blows their mind. And so if you want to know more about that, reach out um, 843-808-SOLD or obviously BlakeSloan.com anytime. Couple minutes left, right? Yeah. Uh, I want to share some amazing success stories. Our team's been absolutely crushing it. Uh, we're super proud of. Um, also, here's a cool story. Uh, Sharon recently got married to her husband, who actually lives in Montana. Uh, she needed to sell her house in Conway, which is a very nice home. Um, so obviously, she can move out and be their husband. Uh, Sharon bought her home. The problem is, Sharon bought her home just a, a year ago, put a lot of money into it, and so she did not want to lose any money and wanted to obviously get a gain on what she invested in it. So uh, here's a cool part. Obviously, she needed to also sell it quick, so it was a kind of a combination of the two. Thankfully, Sharon's friend used us to sell their home and told us, told her we were the only people to call. She reached out to us. Uh, I designed a custom marketing plan, launched our global marketing blitz, professional photos, uh, virtual reality walkthrough, drove massive traffic, had to offer almost full asking price uh, to allow her to walk away with even more money in her pocket. And now she moved to Montana put a maximum equity in her pocket. And so that's the key part there, right? Sell it fast and for the most amount of money. Anybody can sell it quick, but that's not what you want to do. You won't want to give in your hard and equity away. Another one really cool, uh, Phil and Susan, uh, they had a condo in Myrtle Beach they no longer really use. And so they decided they want to sell. Thankfully, uh, Phil was referred to us by an amazing radio listener, um, gave us a call. I came in, designed a custom plan. We launched our gold marketing blitz, professional photos, a virtual reality walkthrough, which has been huge right now during the COVID uh, era, so to speak. And within a couple of weeks, had a great offer, almost near uh, full asking price. And uh, they're able to obviously put maximum equity cash out of the top. And uh, that's something that's super, super cool there um, as well. And so we're doing the same thing on the buy side. Here's another cool one too. Uh, Brandon on our team, uh, one of our buyer experts, um, they just had something with Mr. and Mrs. Nolan. Uh, they were downsizing, moving closer to the beach. 
And uh, basically, uh, their closest friend told them about us, came to us, Brandon helped on the buy side. Um, we helped uh, get it on the market sold. We had it under contract in the first uh, five hours. And then Brandon helped them obviously find the perfect place for them that was close to the beach and close to their friends. Um, and so we're able to help navigate what we call the delicate dance. Do you buy first or sell first? This is something that we specialize in and we're very, very good at. So you're not stuck owning two properties or uh, stuck nothing with nothing at all, which is super cool. And also Scott had a great scenario on our team with Brad and Amanda. They made a search for a home. Uh, thankfully, they got it with us on our listings. We helped them find the perfect four bedroom home in the farm under contract. They closed 34 days later, keys in hand. I'm super excited. Now they're able to expand uh, their family. And so the bottom line is our team knows how to navigate what's going on in the current marketplace. How much time we got? About two minutes. All right, two minutes. One more two. That I'm sure I can share this one for uh, Samantha. Been trying to sell her house since market comment over six months. Average real estate, no luck, just empty promises. Um, thankfully, she's referred to us by an awesome listener. We came in, launched a global marketing blitz, professional photos, um, had to offer 98% of asking price uh, just a couple of weeks. And so this is over and over and over and over again uh, for that. But with two minutes left, I want to talk about what we're seeing. This is something that I really kind of connected with because I'm seeing it. The New York Post had an article this week. I'm not sure if you guys saw it, Dave, on your show. But the, the quote was at the top, how they had it broken down. It said, uh, lured by luxury deals, diehard New Yorkers are moving south. Yeah. And they, they they basically listed the south here. Charleston's on here, one of the examples. Um, Charlotte, uh, Columbia, us. And just gave an example of how New Yorkers are just tired of what they're seeing, the excessive lockdowns. And after four months of lockdowns, they basically follow us girl named Michaela, who and her friends moved down here, but they talked about people are able to work remotely now. And they're doing that where they have lower cost of living, lower home costs. And um, the reality is they're seeing massive value in what we have here. And I, I talk about this because um, we spend a massive amount of money up north and we're very, very well dialed into that. We're seeing the same exact thing. Uh, we're getting words like, you know, dictator and all these things that they're saying that they're very um, aggravated with the government there locally and the state government and they're coming down here. And so it's a great opportunity for us um, as a location to be able to grow in a real estate world. And so if you know anybody out there, my biggest struggle right now is inventory, right? Our team has pushed very hard. We're going to push all the way through the end of this year, through the holidays. A lot of agents taking off right now and we're doubling down through the holidays. If you want to know more, reach out, give us a call 843-808-SOLD. Yeah, no, there's no time off during the holidays. That's, that's no, sir. Right. <laughs> Always. If Blake can call at his office, he will be working out throughout the entire holiday season for sure. Yes, sir. I'll be here.